Welcome back to the 4G Reading Corner. If you remember all the way back on Tuesday before your Veterans Day holiday, we were talking about story elements or plot elements. Those are just the parts of the story. Can you remember what the plot elements were that we studied already? If you said exposition, maybe you said rising action, or if you said climax, you would be correct. Those are the three plot elements that we have studied so far. And we are going to continue studying the last two plot elements today because there are only five plot elements. So we're gonna study the last two today, the falling action and the resolution. The resolution is the solution to the story. So let's take a look again at Mafaro's beautiful daughters. And here we see where our climax ended when Miyasha went in and just saw the little garden snake and knew she wasn't gonna get eaten by a monster. And she says, my little friend, she exclaimed, it's such a pleasure to see you, but why are you here? I am the king, Nioka replied. And there before Niasha's eyes, the garden snake changed shape. Since we no longer are, have our climax, this is the falling action. And we see our, one of our events is that the king was the snake. I am the king. I am also the hungry boy with whom you shared a yam in the forest and the old woman to whom you made a gift of sunflower seeds. But you know me best as Mioka. Because I have been all of these, I know you to be the most worthy and most beautiful daughter in the land. It would make me very happy if you would be my life, wife. And you see here, one of the things we have to ask ourselves in the falling action is how does this connect with the rest of the story? Well, we see here that it connects because the king was the hungry boy and remember, Manyara was very mean and did not share her food. But Nyasha did give him food before he even asked. And he was the old woman to whom Manyara was very rude and disrespectful, but Nyasha was very kind to her. And then we see he is also the little snake that she loved and sang to. So that's how it connects to the rest of the story. And I am also wondering what is going to happen to the characters now? So I see here, what is going to happen to the characters? And so it was that a long time ago, Nyasha agreed to be married. The king's mother and sisters took Nyasha to their house and the wedding preparations began. The best weavers in the land laid out their finest cloth for her wedding garments. Garments are clothes, so that'd be like her wedding dress. Villagers from all around were invited to the celebration, and a great feast was held. Niasha prepared the bread for the wedding feast from the millet that had been brought from her village. Mufaro proclaimed to all who would hear him that he was the happiest father in the land, for he was blessed with two beautiful and worthy daughters, Niasha the queen, and Manyara, a servant in the king's household. So here we have our falling action. We see what happens to the characters. And our falling action ends right here. When she's getting ready for her wedding with her clothes, her, her great feast and preparing the bread. And it answered a lot of our questions. And in our falling action is where we get to confirm or if our predictions were wrong, we change them. So all of this happens in the falling action. And our resolution is very short. It begins and ends all in one paragraph right here. Mufal proclaiming to all who would hear him that he was the happiest father in the land, for he was blessed with two beautiful and worthy daughters, Niasha the queen, Amanyara, a servant in the queen's household. So it ended up exactly opposite of how Manyara said. We say, how was the conflict resolved? When Nyasha became queen. What happens to the characters? And 
we revised and changed our predictions since we got to the end of the story. So we find out all these things. What was the solution? What happened to the characters? And then we finished up our predictions all in the resolution. That is all for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you tomorrow.